the Worshipful Company of Stationers and Newspaper Makers until 1937 the Worshipful Company of Stationers, usually known as the Stationers Company, is one of the livery companies of the City of London. The Stationers Company was formed in 1403, it received a royal charter in 1557. It held a monopoly over the publishing industry and was officially responsible for setting and enforcing regulations until the enactment of the Statute of Anne, also known as the Copyright Act of 1710. Once the company received its charter, the company's role was to regulate and discipline the industry, define proper conduct, and maintain its own corporate privileges. The company members, including master, wardens, assistants, liverymen, freemen, and apprentices, are mostly involved with the modern visual and graphic communications industries that have evolved from the company's original trades. These include printing, papermaking, packaging, office products, engineering, advertising, design, photography, film and video production, publishing of books, newspapers and periodicals and digital media. The company's principal purpose nowadays is to provide an independent forum where its members can advance the interests strategic, educational, training and charitable of the industries associated with the company. History In 1403, the Corporation of London approved the formation of a guild of stationers. At this time, the occupations considered stationers for the purposes of the guild were text writers, limners, illuminators, bookbinders or booksellers who worked at a fixed location stationarius beside the walls of St. Paul's Cathedral. Booksellers sold manuscript books, or copies thereof produced by their respective firms for retail, they also sold writing materials. Illuminators illustrated and decorated manuscripts. Printing gradually displaced manuscript production so that, by the time the Guild received a royal charter of incorporation on 4 May 1557, it had in effect become a printer's guild. In 1559, it became the 47th in City Livery Company precedence. At the time, it was based at Peter's College, which it bought from St. Paul's Cathedral. During the Tudor and Stuart periods, the stationers were legally empowered to seize offending books that violated the standards of content set down by the church and state. Its officers could bring offenders before ecclesiastical authorities, usually the Bishop of London or the Archbishop of Canterbury, depending on the severity of the transgression. Thus the stationers played an important role in the culture of England as it evolved through the intensely turbulent decades of the Protestant Reformation and toward the English Civil War. The Stationers' Charter, which codified its monopoly on book production, ensured that once a member had asserted ownership of a text or copy, no other member was entitled to publish it, that is, no one else had the right to copy it. This is the origin of the term copyright. However, this original right to copy in England was different from the modern conception of copyright. The stationer's copyright was a protection granted to the printers of a book. Copyright introduced with the Statute of Anne, or the Copyright Act of 1710, was a right granted to the authors of a book based on statutory law. Members of the company asserted their ownership of a work by entering it in the Entry Book of Copies, or the Stationers' Company Register. The register of the Stationers' Company became one of the most essential documentary records in the later study of English Renaissance theatre. In 1606, the Master of the Revels, who was responsible for licensing the performance of plays rather than their publication, acquired some overlapping authority over publication as well, but the Stationers' Register remained a crucial and authoritative source of information after that date, too. To be sure, enforcement of the rules was always a challenge. In this era, Area as in other aspects of the Tudor, Stuart regime, and plays and other works were sometimes printed surreptitiously and illegally. In 1603, the stationers formed the English Stock, a joint stock publishing company funded by shares held by members of the company. This profitable business gained many patents of which the richest was for almanacs including Old Moore's Almanac. 
The business employed out-of-work printers and dispersed some of the profit to the poor. In 1606, the company bought Abergavenny House in Ave Maria Lane and moved out of Peter's College. The new hall burned down in the Great Fire of 1666 along with books to the value of about £40,000. It was rebuilt and its present interior as much as it was when it reopened in 1673. The courtroom was added in 1748 and in 1800 the external façade was remodeled to its present form. In 1695, the monopoly power of the Stationers' Company was diminished, and in 1710 Parliament passed the Copyright Act 1709, the first Copyright Act. The company established the Stationers' Company's school at Bolt Court, Fleet Street in 1861 for the education of sons of members of the company. In 1894, the school moved to Harnsey in North London. It closed in 1983. Registration under the Copyright Act 1911 ended in December 1923. The company then established a voluntary register in which copyrights could be recorded to provide printed proof of ownership in case of disputes. In 1937, a royal charter amalgamated the Stationers' Company and the Newspaper Makers' Company, which had been founded six years earlier and whose members were predominant in Fleet Street, into the company of the present name. The company's motto is Verbum Domini Mane in Aeternum, Latin for the word of the Lord endures forever. Stationers' Hall. Stationers Hall is at Ave Maria Lane near Ludgate Hill. The site of the present hall was formerly the site of Abergavenny House, which was purchased by the Stationers in 1606 for £3,500, but destroyed in the Great Fire of London, 1666. The current building and hall date from circa 1670. The hall was remodeled in 1800 by the architect Robert Milna and, on 4 January 1950, it was designated a Grade I listed building. Stationers Hall has hosted the Shine School Media Awards, where students compete in the creation of websites and magazines. Notable liverymen Edward Ald John Cleave Thomas Coates George Eld Edmund Evans George Faulkner Richard Field Augustine Matthews George Muddy Owenite, Rupert Murdoch Thomas Cotley Newby Nicholas Oakes Peter Short William Stansby John Trundle Sir Christopher Meyer. Topic see also authorized King James Version Air and Spottiswood Fleet Street Printing Patent.